Hello everyone, Wardog here. Uh, today we're working on this Bubba blade. It's a fillet knife. Looks like the blade on this one's maybe eight, eight or nine inches. We're using the TS Prof K03 Pro Hunter. And we've already been sharpening it. We started out with some diamond stones. And we're just kind of making some finishing passes with this black Arkansas stone. So we're trying to remove any last bits of burr that are on here. I'm going to flip the knife over. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure that our stone's wet. And we're going to make a few passes on this side. So I did tape up the blade to protect the sides of the blade from scratches. The way that you get it to exactly match the blade is you lay it on there on your blade, tape it to it, cut off the bottom portion, and then you move the tape up about an eighth inch. And what that does, it gives you the exact angle that your blades cut in at so right here we're trying to roll off any burr that's still remaining on there filling a little bit of burr so I'm doing a little bit of a scrubbing motion on it again make sure you keep your Arkansas stone wet this is the black so you can mix up your passes however you want to do them whatever angle you want to run The main thing is to grind down to a new apex, get to all new metal, and then polish it with a finer stone, clean it up a little bit. So that's what we're on right now. We're on the polishing stages. We've already ground it with the diamond stones. So we're just doing a little bit of cleanup right now, trying to remove any last little bits of burr. So we are going to check it on our best tester when we're done here, but we're going to take it to the strop right afterwards. Right after we're done sharpening, we'll take it to the strop. So right now I'm doing burr removal with an Arkansas stone polishing. We got to add a little bit of water, it dries out pretty quick. Okay, let's flip our knife around. This is a fisherman's fillet knife. Bubba blades. Okay, what I'm gonna wanna do is take my Allen wrench that came with this TS Prof. These are the fillet clamps, the whole milled fillet clamps, which that's what you need if you're gonna be doing fillet knives on the system. You wanna get the whole milled fillet clamps. So we're going to pull this out of here. I got a towel here. I'm going to wipe it down a little bit. And then we're going to take it to the leather strop. So let me set this back out of the way a little bit. And then we'll slide the strop up here. This is a horse hide strop from DLT. It works really good for removing burrs. 
there is an aggressive side to it here and then this is more of a fine side so I'm gonna keep the tape on here for now we're gonna start out on the aggressive side so lay your knife down and roll it up until the cutting edge touches the leather that's the angle you want to run at and work from one end to the other but I like to go back and forth rolling the burr from one side to the other and eventually it breaks off if there is any burr left so this is a premium horse hide the ambush drop get that at DLT So you'll feel the little pieces of burr if you have any burr on there as you're cleaning this edge up you're gonna feel the burr dragon when you feel it start to get really smooth we'll flip over to the other side on the strop okay that's cleaning up so I'm gonna go over to this side this is also horse hide right here so we'll take our knife again we lay it flat and then you roll it up until that edge touches to your cutting edge touches you can use light if you need to to see when you're there and then we'll do the same pattern we want to try to break off any little pieces of burr that are still remaining And then after this, we're going to check it on our best tester to see how sharp we got it. So as long as I keep feeling roughness, I'm just going to keep going with it. We'll check two spots on the blade. And that way we know whatever number we're getting. We'll take an average. Okay, it's starting to feel a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna set our horse hides drop down. Wipe the edge. I'm gonna leave the tape on it for now in case that it needed uh, remounted for any reason. So let's grab our best certified sharp electronic tester let me turn it on or let me reset the media real quick in it this is the aluminum test fixture the way it works is you undo that that little piece that that one you remove the old media then you come over to this side you unloosen, there's another one right there, you unloosen that screw, you pull out as much as you need to set it into this side. So I think the amount I have there, as long as I'm longer than this, I think we're good there. I got a little tag hanging on, and so you drop it into the slot right there. You can use your thumb to help it drop in now that it's down in the slot I'm going to tighten this side you can use a little scale if you want to hang on there but I just try to get it consistent every time so we'll set it on here we want to see how sharp our knife is after stropping so on the back side there's this uh, forget what they call that thing this thing right there but that's what you set your knife in there's a gel pad there so you set your knife into that let's turn it on so again we'll do a few tests where's our card at let me show you guys the card on how this works okay so at the bottom double edge razor blade 
is in between 0 and 100. So right there in the middle. Utility razor blade. Looks like it's about 150 to 200. New high-end cutlery edges. So that would be a new knife. It's showing 250 to 350. And, th and then once you get above 400, that's in edges in need of maintenance or repair. Moderately rolled edge is about a 400 to 800. So most of the time when I get a knife in to sharpen, they're usually in the range of about a 400 to 800. And so my goal is to get it somewhere down around the 200 mark. Or uh, better, I could go down around 100 depending on the knife and the quality of the steel and everything. So let's see where we're at on this knife. It may need some more work, but we'll find out where we're at. And I'm just gonna pick a random spot on the blade. I'm a little shaky right here. Okay, now that it's setting on that gel pad, I'm gonna start going down. You wanna go down very slowly, keep your knife straight up and down. Okay, we can see the numbers are changing on the scale. You just wanna keep going until that cuts the media. Don't, uh, don't go too fast because you'll chop it. Okay. So, I, hopefully you guys can see that on there. 106. So this, this thing is really sharp. This thing is razor sharp. Which most of the knives I sharpen do usually end up around 150. So, let's, um, I want to recheck that in a different spot. So let's grab our aluminum test fixture I'm going to get rid of that piece okay hopefully you can see that on the camera I'm going to loosen up the set screw on this side again pull out enough to get just past this other set screw and still have it in your hand so loosen that set screw make sure that you're you drop down in that slot put a little bit of tension on it not a lot just you want it snug so can you see the test media in there I hope so so it, it dropped down into that little slot that's cut in the top of this okay so what we'll do is we'll set it back on the scale and we'll take another test Zero it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in very deep. And then, same thing, I'm going to go very slow until I cut the media. Okay, I'm on it. You can see the numbers changing. So I just keep pushing until it cuts. One seventy six. Okay. So as you can see, all the numbers that we got are all right around the utility razor blade sharpness. And this is on our fishing fillet knife. So you shouldn't have any problem. Um, the guy who I'm sharpening this for, he fishes for steelhead. And um, so I tune, I'm tuning the knife up for him. So uh, we're razor sharp. So thank you everybody for watching. Flay knife sharpening and then checking our sharpness on our sharp tester.